Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to talk about BIM jobs that are available for engineers and what kind of softwares you will require, what all things you need to know before opting for a job here in Canada or before taking up a course here in Canada. If you are an engineer or into mechanical or HVAC or electrical department. So this video will be a very important video and very helpful video for all of you. So without any delays, let's get started with the video. So guys, let's start with the first thing and the most important thing. A lot of engineers are commenting and asking me that which course they should be doing if they are planning to coming to Canada. So most of them are opting for project management, which I think is not as useful as they think. If you are a civil engineer, go for construction project management. And if you have some experience in managing projects, then definitely go for construction project management. But if you just go for project management, um, you won't have your expertise, your degree to back you up to get a job. I hope you're getting me what I'm trying to say over here. See, if you're doing a construction project management, if you have a civil engineering degree, you have more weightage behind you to support you that, okay, fine, he might be able to do this job well, even if he's a fresher in this field or even if he's a fresher in Canada. So this is something that you have to take into consideration, guys. And other than that, I would say go for technical courses, go for hard skill and soft skill courses that are like software skills or on-site work or something like that, if you can do that. If you generally ask me like what you should be doing is I would say go for architecture technologist uh, draftsman courses it will just get you into the field this is important and BIM courses because here I have seen in past few months there are a lot of openings for engineering specific jobs in BIM field like whenever you go online and if you start searching about jobs and about BIM job in particular, then there are construction companies who are hiring electrical engineers, civil engineers, they are hiring even HVAC technicians. So if you are into these fields, I would definitely request all of you. I know like not everyone is comfortable just using software and sitting on a desk for eight hours and modeling. But if you want to pursue a career and be successful in something, and if you want to come here in Canada, I would say go ahead and take up some courses that are related to BIM or modeling or software based courses. Because a lot of people are doing project management, just general project management, which actually doesn't help them at all, like literally. I have seen so many people struggling for jobs after doing just general basic project management. So take my words for it, go for software or skill based courses. Uh, if, if you are capable of uh, doing ducting layouts, go specialize in that, do ducting. And if you are good in modeling, if three in 3D modeling or something like that, go ahead, develop that skill of yours. The main software that you should focus on is Revit. Primary software, every company, every construction company over here is using Revit right now. So that is one of the most important one. Then for civil engineers, it's civil 3D. Even for other fields of engineering, you can go ahead and check civil 3D out. And uh, then there is Tecla. Uh, just go ahead and search about this software. This is also an engineering based software. So you can work in this as well. Uh, SolidWorks, I don't know if you are into uh, manufacturing of uh, mechanical units or mechanical or civil units. Still this uh, software is used pretty well everywhere. Uh, if you are a civil engineer, again, you can learn uh, Navis work. Navis work is also very important. And if you are learning Revit, 
Again, there is a cloud-based software platform for Revit in which we do the virtual collaboration. If you don't know about it, I can make a video specifically about this. And if you have any doubts about all these softwares also, you can ask me in the comment section. But um, Navi's work is basically, it does the class detection. Just imagine I'm an architect. Um, I designed a building and you designed the ducts. And um, unfortunately you missed a beam, beam and you made a duct that is going through that beam. Or I made a change and put a beam over there and now that duct is going through the beam or the slab. We can run specific class detection to detect where the uh, beam or the duct is hitting each other. And we will get to know that, okay, fine, we need to have a different kind of joinery over there. We need to bend this duct and we can include that cost into our final estimation. So these are the things that you should be focusing on. You should be focusing on Excel. You should be focusing on uh, site management, uh, project management softwares. Uh, Revitzo is one of the software that you can uh, go ahead and have a look. It's very simple. But guys, I'm telling you, uh, people won't trust you that much if you are switching a field very instantly and suddenly. Either do one thing, change your field in India itself, work there for a year and then come here. So at least you will have some experience to back you even if you don't have the education to back you. So these are the things that you have to be very careful about. And all the software that I have told you about, go ahead, look them up. I have mentioned few of the links in the description as well. So you can look those things also up. Uh, there are a lot of courses also available again the links are in the description so go ahead check it out and guys uh, this is it for today's video i think so this is a very short video i'm sorry for keeping it this short but uh, if you have any kinds of doubts or queries or in specific if you want to know something about uh, like engineering jobs over here let me know in the comment section i will if I don't know, I will definitely try to search or ask engineers over here like what people should be doing about this query. So go ahead, mention it in the comment section. And guys, I hope you like this video. Go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel. Take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye-bye.